Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. Welcome to the third in the series, Constructing and Planning an Excel Spreadsheet. In the previous two uploads, we saw that Joe Citizen's Income and Expenses uh, sp uh, worksheet had been constructed thus. But Joe, again being a careful man, knows that this is his January situation but what he wants to do is to plan out to June so what we're going to do is to autofill across to June by pointing at the autofill button in the bottom left hand corner of that cell and then simply dragging across Excel automatically fills those cells with the months it's been programmed to do that for us now what we're going to do is to select all of the data down here because Joe is going to now use the autofill button down in the bottom right hand corner here and he will drag across to June and the cells are automatically filled now as I mentioned he knows that they were the figures for January but of course each month will vary a little bit from the other so we'll just make one or two changes that uh, Joe has said to us that these are the figures that will become involved in the next five months. So he knows for example that his salary in February will drop down to $7,800 and he knows that his uh, April income will increase to $8,550 and he knows also that May and June will be 7900 and 8,100 respectively. He says that his investments uh, will only vary slightly. Uh, for example, the February investment will drop down to $78. The April investment, he will receive an extra, we'll say $10. That's uh, 90. Uh, so we can see here that his monthly incomes are being very big because there are formulas in each of those cells which have been carried across when we auto-filled those cells. Uh, we'll say the rent will remain the same. Uh, the insurance uh, will vary here in March because he uh, takes out another policy to and also because that has increased he will need to autofill that 230 across like that and commensurately the figures at the bottom here also change with the um, with the changes in the uh, uh, in the contents of the cells so he is saying that these are now projected income figures so these are his projected figures for the next five months. Now we'll do a little bit of formatting at this stage just to make it look a little bit better so we drag through the cells I want to make the text red uh, we'll say bold uh, I want to see um, uh, borders around each of the cells and importantly I want to see totals for each of the categories so what we're going to do is to click in this cell and the way Excel works quite simply is this that if I click the auto sum button it looks up the column and it says are there two or more cells that I can add the answer is no so it looks to the left it is guessed correctly I'll hit control enter which keeps me in the same cell and Joe now knows that his projected income for the six months is 48 odd thousand dollars now all we need to do is to auto fill that down and that will take care of the uh, formulas as we auto fill down. So our spreadsheet is being constructed uh, from the original plan which started off with purely this column here. Now what we'll do we'll just uh, hold down the control key and we're going to get rid of the information in some of the cells there that we don't need so the control key lets me select non adjacent cells and if I press the delete key and then click away I see that those cells uh, are blank. Uh, I might also like to uh, do a little bit more formatting uh, we'll say uh, uh, surround that cell with the borders uh, we'll look also at formatting so 
select those cells, hold down the control key, select that cell, control key still held down, select those cells and now we can format them all at the one time. So we're going to fill the uh, uh, cells with a light grey, uh, the colour uh, blue, bold and a light grey fill. And while we're there we'll say um, all borders around these cells. So there is my spreadsheet which has taken, um, taken shape nicely. You may not like that blue but uh, for the sake of exercise. So no problem so far. Now what we're going to do, Joe wants to create a chart. Uh, a chart is simply a visual representation of the trend in data and it works on the golden rule of all computing that is select then do. So I'm going to drag through those cells ensuring that I've included the total at uh, the title hold down the control key drag through those cells control key still held down I just want the net income down there as well I could have included these other two but I don't particularly want to for whatever reason now the beauty about inserting a chart is that if I press the F11 key I'm given a chart on its own sheet down here which can be renamed if I like right click rename we'll say Joe's chart for want of a better want of a better uh, name and here I see the varying uh, displays visually uh, the total monthly income in blue the monthly expenses there in um, uh, an orangey color and the net income in grey so Joe has uh, an indication of what his uh, what the trends are in his income expenses and his net income. If I go back to Joe's position and let's say that there is a big increase in the rent for uh, April for example uh, for whatever reason his rent has been increased to three thousand dollars for that particular month. The other months remain the same. It could be there are repairs or whatever to be done. So now when I go back to Joe's position uh, to, to Joe's chart I see that the chart has automatically updated. So now in our uh, planning and developing the spreadsheet we've taken it a good step further than uh, what the original view was. It's now a projected situation with a chart and uh, uh, the next time uh, that we come back for uh, the uh, development number four uh, we'll look at a macro to have some things done automatically for us. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.